my fashion, sure. right? But they actually but, said shameful. They yes, it is shameful. shameful. My, my stomach was exposed. That was oh. it's shameful. Anyway, but, but the thing is, and that's not even it's bad, hot. right? Yeah, but weird. the thing is, is that... It's a thing to say to someone. It, it is weird. <laughs> it is a weird thing You're to shameful. say. You're shameful. Were they were like wearing a cross? No, no, they weren't. Shameful is very no. weird. I, I, got a, I, I got a Jehovah's Witness flyer in my mailbox today, but that's a side note. C- continue. Interesting. Fuck yeah. Yeah. interesting. <laughs> continue. Um, um, unless, actually, unless you're watching. <laughs> when I live here, you wait till they come to the door. <laughs> come in. Um, continue. But yeah, so people don't realize like what happens leading up to that situation, right? And people always are so quick to be like, that bouncer's an asshole or like that person's a dick or I can't believe they did that. And it's like, I get it. But if you were ever put into that situation, it's like the same thing with officers, right? It's like people always are so quick to say that officer shouldn't have done that. And it's right. like, okay, just hold on a minute because you don't know what happened probably one hour prior to Absolutely. this, right? While they're dealing right. with all of this stuff. And I'm like, I'd love to put you in this situation. I know people are like, well, you have training and this and that and the other thing and that's great. Right? Mm-hmm. But like when you you can have all the training in the world, but real the execution life. in real life that? is like never the same. It's yeah. never the same. What if we did that? Did what? Well, what if we got a GoPro? Oh my god. On one of your better bartenders or one of your long ter- longer serving bouncers. Interesting. And showed both and had that showed both. what? Like we can go live. But we can't go live because it's the bar. We have to yeah. edit some stuff out. But what we can do is get one of the bartenders, like Mike Robinson, oh my or God. yourself being the manager, wear a GoPro for us. Yeah, but people act different when they know there's... A, like the, no. the fact that it was hidden was... Do you, do you think that she's going to be acting different if she wears a GoPro? Absolutely No, I, I think the people no. that are at the they bar... Know. Yeah, they Yeah, like if there, was a, if there was a hidden camera on me, because the thing is, is that I still, have right? to, I still have to execute my job the same way, right? Yeah, like right. I can't... I can't you I can't have break to. rules. Yes. Yeah, I but have to. We can blur their faces out. It doesn't mean anything. We can blur people's faces out, but we get. But you'd be a day surprised in the at the conversations that mm-hmm. I have with people. A it's day very in the life of Hula. A day in the life Dude, of Hula. That's yeah. a great video. <laughs> we we should do a day, day in the life of all our guests. That should be the next season. Like well, day in the life of this person. Well, that's a great way to advertise your bar as well. <laughs> yeah, that's also a very good point. But yeah, it's very interesting the conversations that I have in a night. Mm, I bet like, they are. Yeah, and it's it's very interesting too to like also hear how people talk to me when they are clearly just like need something from me right. versus oh, people yeah. who are like very like uh, very involved in my life or like you know know me or like want you right. know what I mean it's so interesting to see the dichotomy do you yeah, know what I mean sure because, like, it's, it's just it's it's fascinating human, human I love behavior. it like, yeah. I love it well Good you word. get to you get to read I mean it's your job in real estate too as a saleswoman to be able to read people so you yeah. can tell you can kind of see okay this is your motivation but I'm gonna roll with it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely alcohol involved either yeah oh you see the sober and, and drunk version of it's or sober and drunk version at the bar. Where I feel like everybody thing. needs to work in a bar. And like just because yeah. there are so many things that happen in a bar that are applicable to life. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. if you can deal Little with lessons. Uh, yeah, Little absolutely. Lessons, yeah. But if you can Little deal lessons, with like yeah. irate drunk people who are like just you know yeah. bonkers, yeah. right? Like bonkers. everything else is like so easy. You know it's what I mean? Of, like kind of true. <laughs> you know, like yeah. I think everyone should at least see it, experience it. I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna work on setting up a GoPro for one of you guys. All right, I why don't I'm, I'm totally why down don't we to just do wait it. until you potentially bartend again, and we'll do it on ourselves. We could potentially. It's yeah. it, we, uh, listen. I don't have a job yet, right? Well, it doesn't matter. Even I'm sure Vulu will let you guest bartend for a night. Oh yeah, you can totally guest bartend for a night. So and I have a GoPro at home. There you, go. yeah, there you go. We could both do it. We both do it. We'll, do we'll put you on a bar Holy together. Shit. There's a bar that's the like specifically bar, the back for the there's, there's, yeah. yeah, there's Test for two out. people. Test it out. We could do something like that. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. We, air, we yeah. air it on here for sure. We can't do it live, but we can air it next day. Well, we could there. promote it on here and then get people to come and like, hey, if you if you heard this, I'm going to get people us. to come and ask you to make them the most ridiculous oh, drinks. Oh fuck! And don't then, yeah. That's okay. Do it. I don't. Give I a can't f- remember. You're, listen, you're fucking waiting. I don't know how to make it. I don't <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold yeah. on. Let me let, let, let me just Google this. Yeah. What do you want? I don't have that here. Actually, as long as the ingredients are there, there's a YouTube video for it. We know who does that. You know what do you want? I I'm not going to name names. I know a bartender would be like. The fuck do you want? A what? Yeah, you're getting a beer. <laughs> you're not allowed to drink that. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna say who it is, but yeah, he knows, he knows who, who he is. He knows who he is. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. But he's like, yeah, what? You have two beers. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, um, so you mentioned in a relationship now. Yes. And obviously, has there been any sort of um, issues that you've brought with you into that relationship, or is it much? Is it a much healthier environment, and everything's kind of? It's totally a, a healthy environment. Um, I don't know that I. I don't know that maybe consciously I brought ish, like issues in, but I know that I have like little weird quirks that I like. I'm kind of like, okay, you can't do that, or mm, that kind of bugs me because it reminds you of because it kind of just reminds oh, me of or like right. there's certain like weird things. Yeah, it's unintentional. There's like certain weird things in my life that I just I can't. Um, 
like I can't that can't happen you right. know what I mean like they just they totally set me off right they just make me feel weird or make me feel uncomfortable or Fears. like I don't freak out but yeah they just okay. bring back weird feelings mm-hmm. it's very bizarre oh. um, and it's weird that they're not major things they're really bizarre little things right like I can't listen to I can't no one can cut anything on a glass cutting board like really? The, yeah. Wow. Yeah, just because it's like situational. Really? Oh, yeah. Bring it's back like a certain so, yeah. Oh, so wow. weird. So I had to like throw out all my glass cutting words. My mom actually has built in glass cutting words, and she's not allowed to use them. Really? Yeah. Thank but God. My mo- my mother is straight from heaven, so like, thank God. She's like, okay, I'll get wood ones. That almost sounds like a little bit of PTSD you're dealing with. <laughs> Maybe I don't even know, right? Yeah. But it, it it's well so weird. Be. Yeah, it very well could be. That happens a lot. Well, it's a trauma, violence. right? Like you went through trauma. Yeah. Like Justin's so. not allowed to touch my neck. Like he's that's a thing. Like right. he's just not allowed to touch my neck. And I think he did it once, and I was like, um, no. Are you, are you, are you <laughs> like, so when he grabs the back of your neck and kisses you, is that, that no? N- no, it's just like there's just there's neck no neck touching. Wow, interesting. Yeah, there's really? no neck okay. touching. So, that's, so you would probably have to have a very safe vanilla sex life as well. Is that kind of safe to say? Um, no, not necessarily. Okay. Just there's just like certain things that okay. like there's, that's pretty much like the big one as far as like my body goes. So okay, yeah. Well, so, so otherwise, you, so you have no, boundaries. You yeah, have boundaries. so there's there's no necessarily like, need for vanilla. Healthy ba- oh. yeah, no need for vanilla. Interesting. You learned something <laughs> new about vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say that, I'm not ready for his questions. I'm not ready for his questions at all. I'm never. I ready try for to him. ask them in a, in a subtle way. You do, but, no, you do. You do. Yeah. You're, very, you're very. It just it still shocks the shit out of me. Yeah, we're just new. We're new. Yeah, yeah. We're still developing our relationship and co- co-hosting each other. So, Fair. Jesus Christ, I'm not ready for that. I was not ready for that at all. Sorry, that's, but you know good, what? That's good. That's, I, that's what I appreciate your honesty. I'm not going to dig too much into that because that's I feel fair. like you've. I feel like tonight. Um, has been sort of about what you've gone through and what it yeah. took to kind of what like become yourself again and how long yeah. did it take you to get the Vula back that you remembered? Um, That's a great question. Okay, so this is I think be- I think because of Gatsby, yeah. I actually came out quicker than really? I probably would have if I didn't have it because I was just the I, energy. I, I, this, and the, you know what? The like, war zone. I, <laughs> I, if I, I can, can survive this relationship, maybe it prepped you for Gatsby. PTSD was probably from fucking Gatsby. <laughs> <laughs> that's ro- that, yeah, that's probably true. It was true. a war zone. But right. I literally was just thrown into, I was thrown into something that I wasn't expecting. Mm-hmm. Like I was thrown into what I thought would be like, you know, helping out running Robinson Hall and at the time Thorny Devil, right? Which was very, a great party, but like still everything was under control. Right. No, At no point did I ever realize that what I would be working on was going to literally be dancing on the bars, CO2, lights everywhere, oh. crazy, like right. thousands of people coming through the door in a night. Like right. just that is not what I thought that I was going to be working on. Right? right. And you can imagine that that is like operating two nights at yeah. that capacity it takes a lot of preparation during the week. Sure. So I think there's this part of, um, you know, it just goes back to like things happen for a reason. Mm-hmm. Like I think that just happened for a reason because it actually abs- I think it absorbed all of that time that I thought that I probably would be dwelling on this situation or right. not really sure what to do with myself or like maybe just not being very um, you know maybe feeling depressed or feeling not right. really excited about life there was just uh, uh, this world yeah. of perfect, like perfect in- transition. yeah like of incredible energy and I was surrounded by I like I made a ton of new friends right so and it's I just met kinda... all new people, like because no one really transitioned over from the other bar, right? So I met yeah. all new people. I was working with new people. It was a completely different environment, and I think it it absorbed all of my thought process. Yeah, between so you... that and like CB, so it was amazing because I think that that is kind of what got me out of and back into myself. No kidding. Isn't and it's that, so weird. Like, a is. bar did that, right? But yeah. And, and normally, we look at, like, that's the place people go to escape. But actually, yeah. it was a place where you went to kind of find yourself in a yeah, way. Yeah, totally. And it's and that's amazing. I, I think that that story in itself is, is something that's just kind of, like, it's motivating because you didn't really have time to dwell on the past. No. It was just like, this is what's going on in my life now. You had to yeah. be present to, to be right. running that place. And, I, and, I, think, and yeah. I think the thing that because I was running that place, it also, that was a huge thing too because one, I was working with somebody that I'd never worked before, like working with Nick and he's like, he's an incredible yeah. person and yep. I learned actually, I learned a lot from him because there's a big age difference between the two of us. Right. It's like six years between us but I yeah. actually hmm. learned a ton from him because he had a completely different perspective on how things should be right. and based on what I kind of was used to or what I learned. So it was right. cool to 
just coming in and working with somebody who was so different. Sure. But also, I think because I was in a position where I was making decisions alongside with him, there was no time to to dwell because I wasn't coming in doing a job and then leaving. Like wow. I literally put my like I put so much into like blood, that. sweat, and tears into that place. Right. That's why I still talk about it, right? With yeah. such passion because yeah. it was like I, I it was a bit I, of your baby. It, it was yeah. my baby. That's yeah, yeah totally. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Ask you. Yeah. Do you feel because you of Gatsby being uh, of it being a little bit of mayhem and that you're putting so much effort into it and so much control with the situation you had the control do you feel like because of the lack of those things in the relationship you gain them in this bar um i've been asked that i really? actually I, okay this is really funny so i was That's, asked this on friday because it's because it's a relationship but it was a different it was but, worded but similar was his own relationship totally gatsby was a relationship 100 right. percent. Cool. yeah but somebody asked me if i work a lot because i i brought up not my past not yeah. Gatsby no, itself. no no I, got, I know your question but yeah. in relation this. but the question this. was fuck me right you, <laughs> 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 we don't I'm care about your question go, anymore go, 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 we're moving on to new questions so um so somebody asked me if i work a lot or if i choose to work at the bar because it I can I'm in control there right and is that like a kind of a result of my previous relationship which is sort of kind of like what you're asking ultimately me, right? yes yeah I, I was and, and just for fixing it, a relationship you couldn't fix that you're fixing Gatsby yeah and that's fair and you know what I think part of it is the I think part of it the answer is yes and okay. I and I don't see it as a bad thing right. but yeah I, I think that there was a because there I lost control of my whole entire life yeah. and then I was put into a situation where I could regained control it. something yeah. and regain wow. it. Wow. You know, and, and you know what? Like it's kinda goes back to what you said earlier, like there is something to be said about power. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like I don't Positive. you know like But yeah. there's healthy power and healthy control. Uh, correct. Yeah. yeah. And I think in the bar situation, like there is like I you know, like it's so funny, but the reason why I occupy or what occupies a lot of my time between like 12 and like one thirty is this little stamp that I have that says Hudson on it, <laughs> yeah. right? Because I'm the one that walks around with it and the I can, yeah, I'm the gatekeeper, Ooh, right? Yeah. 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 So it's totally true. But I, you know, so they're, they're, you kind of do feed off that. You know what I mean? It's, so I, that's, I, a cool, like, that's a cool if, if, I would be lying if I said I didn't. Yeah. Right. 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 Absolutely. Um, yeah. but, wow. but yeah, so I, yeah. I think there is, there is some element of the fact that I could, was controlling the bar and making decisions and doing things. You felt in control. I felt in control, mm-hmm. and I like picked up my life from there. So did that help awesome. you into what you're doing now. Um, as far as like in my real estate well, stuff, you, or you just in, like gain, it's not easy for like a petite woman to be confident and to be in control with other people that maybe uh, large men, a bitchy female. I disagree. Yeah. I think you've always been good at handling that. I think I've always been. I think honestly, my I don't know. I don't know. Really yeah, I think well, that she I you. Yeah, <laughs> but the, our viewers don't know. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, fair yeah. enough. I, yeah. I kind of my mom is very like she is she tells it like it is and she controls situations and I mm-hmm. think I've always grown up with that like I've I'm very close with my mom and mm. I think that's where I kind of learned it so I've always kind of been like I've just grown up in a like a leadership or take ownership position right. like yeah. that's just kind of how I grew up in my family but um, leadership or take ownership position I like that well uh, yeah it's like, like it's, one or the other yeah you, well or they go it, hand in hand almost. I kind of they go hand in hand yeah. right because if you're a leader yep. and you are leading a group of people you do need to take ownership of your decisions because if right. you make the wrong decision you have a whole bunch of people that are are behind you who believe in you and you have to be held accountable you, you have to you have to yeah you could sink the ship yeah. so yeah. you have to be held accountable and you have right. to you have to understand your own actions and how those affect everybody else right because mm-hmm. Those people are dependent on your decisions. If okay. I make the wrong decision at the bar, if I make the wrong decision on a on a or advise somebody incorrectly right. in a in a deal, then that there's a huge trickle down effect to that. And, right? and when that happens, because I know that nobody's perfect, right? So how do you go about taking that ownership? Is that a struggle with the ego a little bit, or are you pretty good at that? No, I think that I think what I've good established question. is is that I if I make a mistake, I will admit that I've made a mistake, and yeah. I am I'm totally happy to fix it and yep. I will make sure that I, I fix it and I, and I will make sure that people know that like yeah I fucked up and yep. this is what I'm doing to fix it and I think that's why people love you more because that's being authentic and that's not trying you're not you know you don't need to be right if you make a mistake you take ownership you move on I think the biggest thing that I've learned you know I, I know people always are like fake it till you make it and, and, and sometimes you have <laughs> sometimes to sometimes yeah. you have to you know what I mean but I think that it, regardless of everything that happens in our society of, with social media and attention spans and everything I think people still um, have the ability to see genuine people and still see people that know what they're doing right and I think that people gravitate 
to those people whether they do it consciously or subconsciously they will gravitate to people who know what they're doing because they they trust them and they trust their decisions right. and and i can tell you that in my years of like just even working at the bar when yeah. you're working with people who are trying to fill in a role it never works right. because they everybody around them will gravitate it. to and it like it's it's not even because i'm trying but mm-hmm. they're just they just naturally gravitate towards you have me that feel at the bar though i worked I, with you I, you yeah, have that feel